As we speak tonight, your father is lying or sitting wherever he is in Mount Joy prison. Yes. Your dad is a 66-year-old man. That's correct. Grandfather. Correct. Father, brother. Yes. Um, and the reason he's in prison, we're told, by Mrs Justice Dunn, eminent High Court judge, she said he has only himself to blame. Mm. So why didn't your dad just comply? Play by the rules and he could be sitting at home tonight watching you from his house in Cavan. Yeah, well, there's a couple of things I would say in relation to that, I suppose. Anglo appointed receivers to the, to the Quinn Group and to their property portfolio in April, April of last year. Uh, we say that they shouldn't have appointed those receivers. We, we say that, that the assets and the companies should have been placed in an escrow account. Do you know what? Pending, I, I, pending I, I, I the outcome of any legal I, proceedings. I appreciate that entirely. But yes. we have to go with what a High Court judge said, yes. which was that your father and yourself yes. and your cousin failed to comply, failed to play ball. And yeah. that's why you're not long out of prison. And that's why your dad's there tonight. So it's really simple. Rather than getting into the, the, the minutiae of it, which, of course, we could Rather do. Rather than we getting could... into the involved in the stuff I'd like to talk about. Well, we could be here for an, a, a day and a half doing that. Yes. But there is this quite simple moral dilemma, which is comply or don't comply. Prison, yeah. freedom. Yeah. Your look father it. chose prison. Look, at, there's, there's no, look at, I've been found in contempt of court. I've been found that I've yeah. broke court orders by, by both the High Court and the Supreme Court. Yeah. That's something that I have to live with, and it's something that I, that, I, that I will live with. I put myself in a position, I was working in Russia, I travelled extensively to Russia and the Ukraine, yeah. and I put myself in a position where allegations could be made against me. The reality of the fact, and I'm never going to accept that I did something that I didn't do, I've been accused, and I've been found guilty, of participating and facilitating the payment of a half million euros half a million dollars yeah. to a lady called Miss, Miss Puga. And I suppose in circumstances where that asset was not owned by, by the Quinn family, that asset was owned by friends, extended family yeah. and work, former work colleagues. And, and again, that, that's, all, that's all detail that, that's very important, mm. of course, but for, for all of that, and, and you've been through the mill telling this story in the courts, yeah, again, we, we go back to the we judgment. And we weren't believed. That Sean Quinn Jr., that is you, not telling the truth Correct. in giving his evidence to court. In fact, the, the judge goes on to say, I have it here, I have no doubt whatsoever that his purpose was to facilitate the transactions, uh, that the money was transferred to this particular woman that you talked about in the case. Your evidence overall was not credible. Correct. It's damning. It's very, it's very damning. As far as I am concerned, I was put to jail for facilitating a payment of half a million. I knew nothing about the payment. I give no authorization. No family member knew that payment was being made. That wasn't believed in court. That's something yeah. that I'm going to have to the live. The judge didn't That's, believe you, She Tom. did not believe me, no. And she's she did, High Court she, and correct. then on to Supreme Court. And correct. simply, they just don't believe your story. That is correct. That is correct. I think that certainly the fact that we, move as we moved assets and we accepted that we moved assets in March of April certainly, tar certainly had a negative impact on us. But as you've said, I've been found guilty by both the High Court and the Supreme Court. I'm not going to sit here and argue that they were wrong. But all I can say was I certainly had no hand after part in that payment.